The National Treasury of Norway consisted of 50 tons of gold worth 240 million kr in 1940, approximately 54.5 million United States dollars in 1940 or 1 1.8 billion United States dollars in 2015. When the German invasion began, the gold was evacuated from Oslo first overland to Andalsnes and then by ship to Tromso. From Tromso, evacuating Allied forces took the cargo of gold to Britain. The gold arrived safely in Britain despite German ground and air attacks. It was ultimately shipped to North America. Topic. Evacuation from Oslo The gold was stored in the main vault of the Norges Bank's headquarters in Oslo. During the increasing tension of the 1930s, plans were made to make the gold more mobile. When the Second World War broke out, these plans were accelerated and the gold was packed into 818 crates of 40 kg, 685 crates of 25 kg and 39 barrels of gold coins, weighing 80 kg each, a total of 53 tons. When news reached the government in the early hours of 9 April 1940 that the patrol boat Pole 3 had been attacked and that enemy ships were approaching Oslo, orders went out to evacuate the gold to the vault in Lillehammer. Heavies from local businesses were used to load the gold onto 26 civilian lorries. The last lorries left Oslo hours before the Wehrmacht arrived. Topic. By train and lorry to Andalsnes The gold stayed at Lillehammer for a few days before having to move again due to the German advance. It was loaded onto a train and travelled across country away from the German advance. Meanwhile, the Norwegian government and King Haakon VII were separately evading the German advance. German paratroopers attempted to reach Lillehammer in buses to capture the dignitaries and gold, but were stopped by an improvised defence at Midskogen. Norwegian troops from Jorstadmoen, including poet Nordahl Grieg, deployed to Lillehammer to guard the train. The train left Lillehammer on 19 April and arrived in Andalsnes on 20 April, where British expeditionary troops had landed a few days before. Andalsnes was bombed several times by the Germans. The train was undamaged and was moved to Ramsdalshorn station, outside Andalsnes. The British were informed of the gold, and agreed to evacuate it to Britain and then perhaps onwards to America. The gold was to be split between three ships. The first, the British cruiser HMS Galatea departed from Andalsnes on Thursday 25 April, with 200 crates. By ship to Tromso No further loading was done at Andalsnes due to the approach of German troops through the Gudbrandsdalen and further air raids. The gold was moved on 23-28 lorries to Mould, to be embarked on the British cruiser HMS Glasgow with the King and the government, and taken to Tromso and then to Britain. The city was being bombed when they arrived. 756 crates and all 39 barrels were loaded onto Glasgow before, late on Monday April 29, Captain Pegram judged they could wait no longer and ordered the ship north to Tromso. 18 tons of gold, in 301 large and 246 smaller crates, were left behind. The coastal steamer Driva took on most of the remainder before bombing suspended loading. The 30 crates left by Driva were moved by lorries to Gemnas, to be picked up by the steamer on its way north to Tromso. 
Driva was attacked by German aircraft several times and beached to avoid sinking. The gold was transferred to five fishing vessels from Bud and Husted. These were Heimdall, Barden, Svanen, Leif and Gudrun, captained by Hans M. Inderhaug, Harald Tungahog, Engvold Sunda, Emil Skothheim and Alfred Skothheim respectively. As hoped, the fishing vessels did not draw attention and they arrived at Gemnas without incident, and the thirty crates brought north by road were picked up. The five boats continued north to Titran, arriving at the island of Freya in Trondelag on Saturday 3 May. The soldiers from Jorstadmoen were sent home, and the gold was transferred to two larger fishing vessels. The two ships left on 4 May and arrived in Tromso four days later. Evacuation overseas In Tromso, the gold was loaded onto the British cruiser HMS Enterprise. The cruiser sailed south to Harstad, before departing on 25 May. Enterprise survived two German air attacks en route to Scapa Flow. From there, she sailed to Greenock, where the gold was brought ashore. The gold was taken by train to Bank of England's vault in London. Finally, the gold was shipped in installments across the Atlantic Ocean to America and to Canada. Of the 50 tons from Oslo, the only losses were 297 gold coins from a barrel damaged during transit aboard a British vessel. The gold was gradually sold in America, partly to fund the government in exile. Ten tons of gold coins returned to Norway in 1987. Topic. In popular culture Snow Treasure — an American children's novel giving a fictionalized account of the gold's transport Pimpernel Gold — How Norway Foiled the Nazis — a partially fictionalized account of the story, by Dorothy Baden-Powell See also Gold Reserves of Norway Operation Fish Moscow Gold Romanian Treasure, the Romanian Gold Reserves sent alongside other valuable objects to Russia for safekeeping during World War I, but never returned.